It is one snowy day over here in Toronto. Just got to my office. And the first thing that I hear from people is they're complaining that the elevator is not working. Okay, I hear you. It's not working. But for God's sakes, we're on the fourth freaking floor. This tells me a lot about somebody. If an individual is not willing to climb up the stairs four stories, how in the world are they going to succeed in building a multi-million dollar startup? Let's talk about statistics over here for a second. If you line up 100 companies in front of you, only one of them will reach $1 million in revenue. 99 won't. But what is the difference between that one and the 99? I would say character. I would say determination. I would say having faith in oneself and never, ever, ever giving up. Remember what Winston Churchill said, when you're going through hell, keep on going so do this exercise for me it's a very stoic exercise instead of complaining about the weather or complaining that the elevator is not working take this as an opportunity to better yourself maybe you're not going to the gym enough great I get to walk up the stairs. I do this anyways. I don't take the elevator. I hate the elevator. I think humans have become very lazy. I need the escalator. I need the elevator. I need everything. Next thing you know, we're gonna end up like the movie Wally -E when we're all fat on these machines. And it's already happening, you see it. And then I digress. So take this opportunity to better yourself. Climb the stairs. <clears throat> if it's cold outside, try to Try to handle the cold, you know, Wim Hof. I've been using his exercises lately, breathing diaphragmically, breathing, controlling my core temperature. You'll be surprised. I think us humans have become very soft and weak. And if you're looking to build your business, you're looking to build your startup, you need to be like steel. Remember Rocky, when Rocky fought, uh, what was the name, the big Russian guy, I forget his name, Ivan. Right? And Ivan comes back, I think it's like the sixth round or seventh round. And Ivan's like, he is like iron. He cannot be bent or broken. You gotta be like that iron. You gotta be like Rocky. You gotta keep on going and going. And the more versatile you become, both spiritually, mentally, and physically, the better, the better performance you have, to tell you the truth. And that's how you succeed. So, if you catch yourself in a situation like this in the future, where it's snowing and the elevator is not working, be happy, be like, all right, here's a golden opportunity for me to flex my legs, climb the stairs, and get something more out of the day. Because we always trap ourselves in something called the hedonic treadmill. And the hedonic treadmill states, we keep on doing the same things over and over and over again. It's kind of like, Pavlovian psychology, right? We are programmed by habits. And that's what the hedonic treadmill is. We wake up and we're programmed to do the same thing time and time again because of our dopamine reward center. So we wake up, we have coffee, we look at our phones, we go to work, take the same path to work, talk to the same people, have the same friends, have the same routines. And this hedonic treadmill is really dangerous because if you look at evolution, if you, if you look at growth, growth is about pushing the boundaries. Growth is about pushing you. So you gotta get off this hedonic treadmill and you gotta start growing, fractally speaking. Put yourself in awkward situations you've never been before and you will expand yourself, both physically, mentally, and spiritually. So this is what I want you to do from now on. Like I said before, if you ever catch yourself in a situation like this, where your day is not going accordingly to the hedonic treadmill, Tell yourself, fantastic. Here's a golden opportunity for me to better myself. All right, guys. I'm gonna go do some Krav Maga right now and kick some ass. On a day like this, I need to kick some ass. And I will see you soon. Adios.